What's going on good folks? I said what's going on good people? Back again, got my review legs back. This fitting to be a breeze. Shout out to my man, Ha Ha Davis on Instagram. But check it, today I'm coming to you with the Predator review, the Ahab Ultimate Edition to be exact, by NECA. Um, this fig was found by my good friend Doo Dog. He was at Target and he hit me up. He said, hey, would you be interested in this or are you looking for this, brother? I said, you got daggone right. I'm looking for that, sir. <laughs> and he so kindly went and mailed it and uh, gave it to me. And it was it was a couple of weeks ago. I'm, I'm really delaying on this review. But um, it says it has 30 points of articulation as I'm showing you the box and talking all at the same time. Barcode, take it down if you need it. Okay, but uh, again, I mean, the way NECA presents their um, boxes to us with their figs is always dynamite. And then we got a comic strip in the back. I mean, very, very nice. Definitely figuring, uh, filling how they do this. It makes it hard to throw these boxes away. I'm going to tell you that right now. I am not an inbox collector, and I do throw my boxes away, so this one will meet its demise in the trash, but we did not come here to look at the box. We came here to look at the figure, and let's bust this bad boy out of the package and see what he's really about. Kashaka! Yeah. Fresh and straight out of the packaging. My, my, my. Necker. What have you done? Man, this thing, off first glance, off right off the packaging, it just looks immaculate. The details, they spared no expense. Just really, really well done. Um, I got a couple of Predators and I'll break a couple of them out at the end of the review um, to show you guys, uh, you know, the difference and what's going to be my favorite, so on and so forth, but we're going to talk about this one. We're going to dissect this one. We're going to talk about what's good. We're going to talk about what's bad. But right now, I'm definitely digging it. So, first up, we're going to go over our accessories. So let's do it. All right, so before we get into the accessories, let's take a look at this guy. So, sandals or makeshift sandals that he has. You see it's going in between his toe right there. His looks pretty, pretty decent. If anyone has Predator figures, uh, usually their feet are done like this and uh, I guess they look like this in the movie. I never really paid attention to their feet in the movie. Um, but he does have two peg holes at the bottom and I do love the mesh that they incorporated right here in his legs. And then he has some type of uh, uh, fur, but it's done in plastic right there. Some type of animal fur, what have you. Looks pretty good. Back of the knees, they even got the mesh in the back of the knees, which looks really good. And we got the cape. Cape is done real nice, and I, I do like soft goods. It looks better um, when you when you put a soft, soft goods cape on a... Uh, uh, predominantly plastic figure in my opinion and then he does have the mesh right here in his lower back as well and that is his skin on the shoulders I like how everything's done you got the detailing and the wiring and his uh, his gauntlet slash arm device then you got the tube in here that's done really nice I like that you got the animal skull right here that looks real. <laughs> like that looks really real. Then right here in this gauntlet, he's got his uh he's got his blades coming out his gauntlet. Hands done really nice as well. Detailing all in the inside of the, the hand there. Very nice. Then the dreads. The dreads is done very nice as well. Love the love the texture that they have within the dreads. The mask is dope as well. Got the scar because he's been through it. The shoulder cannon's done really nice as well. So yeah, great job by NECA as far as uh, 
delivering and executing this predator. I'm really, really digging it. Okay, so now the accessories. Accessory rise, he does come with the engineer's gun. And I'm liking the look, at, look of this as well. That's done really nice. And that's the trigger, trigger finger, uh, or the trigger for the weapon. So the weapon is actually held like this. And this is the barrel, um, if you will, of the weapon. So that's done really nice. And then he also comes with his spear. This spear is quite long. And that's done really nice as well. Then um, basically this is where he holds holds on to it. This is like the handle of the spear. So uh, his grip gets really tight within here and it, it's really loose um, within this part of the handle. But uh, it is it is actually pretty long. Here's how tall the figure is and can't even get the whole thing in shot. So that gives you an idea of uh, how how tall this spear is, pretty long. Also, he does come with a extra piece. And as you can see, this is the extra piece here. And this one has three, three blades on it. And the one that came in packaging has two. And you can simply slip them in and off just like that there. No problem, slides right in and out, really good. And then he comes with the engineer's skull. So this is done super detailed and nice. Really digging this. See the inside of the eye sockets and just the feel of it looks like real bone. And that's where NECA exceeds and excels in their sculpt work and their detail work. Everything is precise. It is precision when you're dealing with NECA and the way they uh, sculpt their figures and even the figures um, accessories. Very nice. Awesome job. The back of the head, you can see the cranium right there. You can see the, the cracks in the cranium. Very nice. Mm. And then he also does come with two extra hands. So one open hand here. And then he also comes with one that's more of a gripping type hand. So he basically comes with two gripping hands, but this hand is for his right, and he also has a gripping hand for uh, his left. So that's really nice. And then finally, his last and final accessory is his blade. If we all seen Predator 1 and 2, you know these blades are razor sharp with, within the movie, but the detail work that's done within this is really nice too. So really digging that. Also the other accessory that he has is his face mask. I'll pop this off. And the face mask is nice. Yes indeed. Really nice. Here's the inside of it. It's not see-through. I wish it was. That would have been cool, but still pretty nice. The way they did it in the inside, they didn't have to, but they sure did. And then this uh, shoulder cannon is also removable, so you can remove that. And that is done in a major, major way um, as far as detail. And it does articulate back and forth. And you can spin it does rotate here so it's really nice really nice then you can have it in the relaxed position even forward put it forward that's basically the relaxed position so very nice next we will go over articula so articulation wise his head here is on a a ball a ball joint up in there and you can lift his head this far up so he does look up a really good amount. And then you can also tilt his head down this far. And you can swivel it around, even though his dreads do get in the way on this side, but it is possible for him to 360 that head all the way around. Be careful of the necklace and not to get that caught up. Also, his cape is removable. So just want to note and add that. Um, and he does have 
head tilt so we can have some attitude there. Um, not so much uh, to the left because his dreads um, basically swing right here to um, his right. So um, you can tilt it, you can tilt it, but it tilts more, look, this way. Still very nice. Um, right up here on his shoulders, he can come up about this far in the shoulders, maybe a little bit further. Now his uh, shoulder um, armor does kind of get in the way there for that shoulder to reach 90, but still, um, you don't need your predator to be doing all types of yoga or nothing like that. That's good enough for the type of figure that he is. Um, then uh, you can swivel that shoulder up. Oh, and I just snapped, look at that. I just snapped that cord. I was afraid I was gonna do that. So this has turned into a lesson, don't swivel that shoulder up. But now I guess uh, my cord is free to swivel up. You don't want your cord broken, <laughs> don't swivel it up. Okay, anyway, I digress. Uh, he does have a double double jointed elbow right there. I'm constantly breaking figures on camera. It happens all the time. And then he does uh, swivel uh, right here at the wrist. And then you do have a hinge that can hinge back and forth. So that's pretty good. And the abdomen, you do have a nice um, upper abdomen uh, rocker right here and that's really good and you can pivot him side to side um, Also, you do have a waist swivel so that also works and then he can crunch down with both uh, Both of them in conjunction that far and then he can crunch back uh, This far so it's not too bad. You do have a upper thigh swivel right here So that does work and you do have a double jointed knee and I do like that and then also you he can rotate um, his ankle around 360 and it does hinge slightly down and a little slightly up there. So that's pretty good. And you do have a slight pivot right there. So not bad. So articulation is, um, is what I expect out of a NECA. Um, he is easy to move, easy to pose. Um, even though that ankle rocker I wish was a little bit better, still not bad at all for the presentation of a NECA Predator. All right, now before I move on, I got to give you viewers a good look at that head sculpt without the mask on, and this thing is insane. Like, look at that, look at the teeth. Yeah, this is, this is really insane. This is your Ahab Predator face sculpt. Jeez. He is ugly, but he's supposed to be ugly. He's a, he's a creature that takes no prisoners, kill everything moving. So next we're gonna go over height and size comparison of uh, this Ahab Predator. So he is standing at, let's see here, right at eight inches, I mean like dead even eight inches tall. Yes, indeed. So let's scale them next to a couple of figures that you may or may not have in your collection. All right, up first, we'll break out some Marvel Legends, break out a couple of bucks. To the left, we have Anti-Venom, and to the right, we have Deadpool. Now, as you can see by this Predator being an eight inch figure, it's towering over your standard size Marvel Legend, which is the Deadpool to the right um, of that Bucky Cap mode. All right, now we got some more beefier type bucks out there from Marvel Legends. To the right, we have Walmart exclusive Thanos. And then here to the left, we have Age of Ultron Hawk. Now, Age of Ultron Hawk was an overseas wave. And as you can see, Hawk and this Ahab Predator is actually the same size. Like, to the top, they're the same size. Not bad. All right, now we got two figures out there from DC Icons to the right. We have Firestorm, and to the left, we have Cyborg. Oh, man, and as you can see, the DC Icons, they just look teeny out there compared to that beefy Predator. 
God knows I love my icons, but they should have been made a little bit taller. All right, now we got out there none other than Superman. Uh, he was made by DC Multiverse. That's a Mattel figure to the left. And then that is your Wolverine 5 Ronin um, to the right uh, by Mezco 112. So he's definitely towering over these two figures as well. All right, now we got some Storm collectibles out there. In the far back, we got Goro. And he is no way, shape, or form going to reach the height of Goro. But he does come to Goro's chest. So that's not bad. And then uh, Akuma, uh, he, he is definitely taller than Akuma. Uh, with Akuma's man bun in the back, it looks like he is uh, the same height. But if you look at the shoulder-wise uh, from the Ahab Predator and Akuma, Ahab Predator is taller. And then you have Smoke to the right, which is off. It's obviously shorter. Now we got out there the McFallen figures, uh, the Fortnite McFallen figures. And uh, to the left we have Raptor and to the right we have Black Knight. Now Black Knight looks like he's almost getting there, up there with the Predator. But uh, these are 7 inch figures and they, are, they cannot reach that 8 inch height. Two more figures from, uh, from the McFarlane uh, Fortnite line. Uh, you got Cuddle, cuddle, cuddle Bear Team Leader to the left, and then you got Skeleton Trooper to the right. Now some figures that's actually within the same company. These are your two NECA Arnold Schwarzenegger figures, and the scale is pretty, pretty accurate. Um, they come up to about eye level to this Ahab Predator, so that, look, that looks pretty good. Now, finally, we are scaling, if you will, apples to apples. Now, as you can see, this Elder Predator, or Predator Clan Leader, I'm sorry, Predator Clan Leader to the left is towering <laughs> over this Ahab Predator. And so is the NECA Alien to the right. Yeah, he's, he is definitely, they are dwarfing him in the middle there. All right, now we do have what I meant to say. This is to the far left, the uh, the clan leader. This is the clan leader with the big long dreads. He is the man <laughs> all the way to the far left. And then here to the far right, we have the spike tail predator. And as you can tell, he is no match for that clan leader. That clan leader is massive. And here they are in a group shot together. My modest clan of predators. I definitely do enjoy collecting predators. I haven't collected a predator in quite some time. Um, I did buy two figures off of my good friend Nathan Simmons. Two predator figures that he was selling. Um, in the middle of this year but uh, as for hunting predators it's it's something that I can I rarely had the opportunity to do because the area that I was living in just wasn't supplying them um, but like I said uh, my very favorite predator I told you guys that I would show and pick my very very favorite predator even though I just reviewed this Ahab predator right here this one is not my favorite predator it is probably one of the predators that I I definitely consider it in my top three, but my top predator is definitely in the back with the orange skin, the clan, <laughs> the clan leader. Definitely, 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 without a shadow of a doubt, the clan leader is my favorite predator. And then the elder predator um, with the red um, coat is my second and then i would probably almost have to go with the uh a rap predator the one i just reviewed today as my uh third favorite predator in my collection um but i hope you enjoyed uh my review i hope i made your decision easy to get or not to get this a rap predator 
He's definitely fun to pose. He's definitely a great predator to have in your collection. If you haven't started a predator collection, why not start with him? Out of a scale from one to 10, I have to give the Arab Predator a 9.5 out of 10. It's a must get, he's a must. Definitely a great one. So, I'll see you next time folks on the next review. Collect what you love, love what you collect. Be patient with yourself, be patient with your hunts. And if you're patient enough, even an egg can and will grow legs. It's your boy, Plastic Attic. I'll see you next time. Plastic Attic, out.